assembling the remainder of the frame. We still have the 20 inch uprights and yours should be marked from earlier with uh, at two inches from the bottom. We're gonna line that the mark up the legs just as we did on the first part on the front uprights and it's pretty much as far as securing this together the exact same process and again we're using the triangle to make sure that this is perfectly square screws at this top part of the L and two screws here well this time we'll have two screws here and here and one screw at the larger one inch section of the L in this position here that's going to allow us to put in a screw with the wing nut so that we can remove the rear part of the frame for maintenance or upgrades or anything else now you see me putting these on the inside, they'll actually go on the outside, but since we'll be drilling directly through pretty straight, um, the hole should line up on either side. So we'll do it on this side, take it off, and then actually assemble it on the outside just as these are done. That's put together. We kept the front part attached just to make it a little easier to put this together, keep everything lined up. Uh, we don't have all the screws on, so what we're gonna do is take out, under the wing nuts, the four wing nuts here in the back, and take this, this rear U shape part off, which will allow us to connect the bolts. <laughs> these two bolts here in the right right place because they have to fit inside of this part of the square too. bolts here will allow you to take just this one bar out to access the z-axis linear rods that will sit right here and if you need to access the y-axis rods which will run these way, this way you just take these wing nuts out and take this whole back part out of the printer that allows you to take the back part of the printer without having to disconnect the z-axis keeping the z-axis together as one unit pulling the whole print bed out and then putting it back in if there's any maintenance that you have to do to the y-axis. Yeah, that's a completed, not completed 3D printer, but completed 3D printer frame. Just gonna see how strong it is. Take a piece of board, put it on top. As you can see, it's 
very stable. If you give up on making a printer, you can always end up with a decent end table and a piece of glass on top. Or a chair if you put it back on it. It is a strong, stable design that works.